Hello guys, welcome to the next episode. Today we would like to present you the first in Poland and probably in Europe, the new Ant Miner L7 Miner. I can't believe, I see it with my own eyes and I have it in my hands, this Miner. It's amazing. Beat Miner Ant Miner L7 now at only best Miners. The whole world has been waiting for this moment for over half a year. And now it's time to unboxing. Did you know there is a $100,000 on table now? No. So now try to imagine there is a car on the desk. I don't know, BMW or Porsche. Still don't believe? Let's check car prices. I think it's costing the same like Ant Miner L7. In the basic version, it's even twice BMW. Ant Miner L7 is the most powerful Litecoin plus the Gcoin mining machine. It's a merge mining. The hash rate from this machine is 9000 to 9500 gigahertz and the power consumption is 3425 watts. His predecessor, it's Antminer L3 Plus, it's from 2017, had the following permits 500 megahertz and 680 watts, of course, after down clocking. So that's it's L7, it's like 90 pieces of L3 Plus. As for the construction, it's the same as S19 Pro, S19 J, D7. As you can see, they only changed the casing of the fans. It's all black. As a reminder, they were silver as in the S19 Pro. What's more, they also changed the structure of the hardboard. Now the Z15, S19J and D7 and also L7 are all black. This is the better solution because you cannot see the rust that has appeared over time. So let's start connecting this machine. Of course, as with previous Bitmine machine with a power greater than 3000 watts, we need to connect two power cables. I quiet down for a moment and you listen to the sound of the machine, that's good to hear. No quick miner configuration as always, so we need to find our miner IP and then configuration our pool with miner.
miner configured and connected to the pool. Now we are waiting for full power and we will see exactly how many vats are consumption. you guys you like this video make sure subscribe if you are not already and that's all for me bye